Hello and welcome to Dumb Phones UK. My name is Joseph and I look at dumb or dumber phones on the UK market. Today we're looking at the Cat S22 Flip and we're looking to see whether work apps and educational apps work on this phone. So things like Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Outlook. Can you actually work on this device? I mean, do you, do you want to work on this device? Look at it. Now obviously, I'm going to show you whether the apps actually work on this device, but whether you want to work on it and whether it gives you what you need is your call completely. So let's just dive in, I guess, and see <laughs> whether you could work on a flip phone in 2023. So within Teams itself, I'm just going to click the get started. I don't seem to be able to do much else and I'm going to decline whatever that is and I've set a, a dumb phones profile. I don't want to sync my contacts. And I'm going to try and start a new meeting. Okay, so what I've done is I've hopped into WhatsApp. I've sent over the link to my iPhone. Clicking on the link on my iPhone, it's opening up Microsoft Teams. So now we can see myself here, filming myself, and there's people waiting in the lobby. So I'm going to allow myself in to save us from the horrible like reverb. I've muted both of these, but you can see that it's working. You can see on my iPhone what's coming out of this screen, and you can see on this screen what's coming out of the iPhone. I'm going to see, and I'm going to basically pull up this phone. I'm going to leave the iPhone in the background so you can see it. And I'm intrigued as to what I can do on this device while we're in the call. So I can change my background. It's currently loading more effects. So let's see what effects it is loading. Here we go. So I'm just going to click the most recent one that has loaded. It's trying and obviously we are putting this phone through its paces here by testing all that sort of stuff out. So, that hasn't, oh, something has happened. It's not quite able to render. It just took a bit of time. So it is able to render the background. I'm gonna turn that background off. because I don't see the point in having a background and making things harder than they need to be. I can react. You can see the reaction appear on that screen. And I can also toggle my camera. And then I'm also able to turn on live captions if that is required. So let me see on the iPhone. Let me turn on live captions on this one too. So here we go. I'm just gonna test and see whether I can turn my camera around. So on the Cat S22 Flip, there we go. So everything works pretty well, to be honest. I'm gonna test. Test, test. You can see that that comes through the phone itself. Uh, I'm going to, there's gonna be a bit of an echo while I just test these captions. So I'm just doing this to test the captions. Perfect, so you can see that captioning is also working. So pretty much everything is working as you'd expect. I'm now gonna test Zoom on this device. So with Zoom running, we are just going to open it up and we're gonna start a Zoom call, so a new meeting. And start a meeting with my video on already. So let's test this out. As this loads, I'm going to allow everything perfect. So that is working here. You're able to see me on both. I'm looking at my iPhone currently, I'm looking at my Cat S22 currently. So let me just pop the Cat S22 flip down. You can see the camera there and you can see the Cat S22 camera here. So it's all working as expected. Let's see what else the phone can do. So I can chat. 
if I wanted to. I appreciate that that might be quite hard. Bang, you can see that on the device and you can see stuff is working. I'm gonna close that. Close the chat. You can also react to things. So let's see how these reactions work. Perfect, it's coming up on the phone. You can share, I can share certain things. I can share my scam camera, screen, whiteboard. So it seems like I've got pretty much all functionality to have anyway with Zoom. So it doesn't feel like we're losing anything. And there isn't a massive amount of lag time. You're watching a video through a video. So obviously there's gonna be some lag in that situation there. But to be honest, it works pr pretty well. It's the final thing that I've been asked to test, which is Outlook. So Outlook, again, what I've done is I've set up and created an email address here, but everything at the moment, no, nope, I don't want to add any other uh, any other accounts. Syncing my privacy settings, I mean, it's a brand new account, so I can't imagine there are many. But it says that they've been synced to Outlook, so I'm just gonna go through, show you what this can do. So I'm gonna reload it. This is Outlook loading, how long it takes. And from within there, you are able to see the amount of space that you have available to you. So this is how you view an email, give it a click. And this is how it renders, obviously quite small, but one thing you can do on this device is zoom in. You can obviously use the down arrow to scroll down through comms or up. You can navigate using that so you can see just in the top here, I'm using the arrow buttons, but you can see you can delete that message and then I can select a message. I can hop down you can see down the bottom here, I'm still using the arrows to go through and have a look and see. I can open an email without touching the screen itself. So this is the Teams that I was testing for you. So again, I'm just using standard arrows on the keypad. You can obviously also use the screen. You can, oh, whoops, I don't want to click anything. You can zoom in. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to compose a new email. Oh, one thing people keep asking me is, uh, how do I get rid of this screen? Um, it's pretty simple actually, and you can pay for a premium version of the T9 keyboard, which gets rid of it automatically, or you just click this back arrow here, and it removes the screen, and then you can still type as normal. And it all just carries on working, and then to get the screen back up again, all you do is type somewhere else. Test email. I'm actually typing, I'm looking at the screen through the camera screen, so that's why I'm a little bit slow on this. To show case how, whoops, works. There we go. And then to sort of access all of this, to you can go through, look into your address box, the BCC or CC people in, and you'll see that sent from Outlook. So Outlook works pretty well too. So in terms of working on this phone, it is possible. I guess the question is, would you want to? So there we have it. I showed Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Outlook, quite Microsoft heavy, but that's because I wanted to showcase those apps and that's what people asked me to do. Hopefully it was useful for you. As I said in the start of this video, you need to decide whether you want to be working on a device of this size. I would argue that part of the reason that I got this phone is because I wanted to reduce my screen time. Having the smaller screen and the T9 element to it does do that. I'm not sure I would want to be taking full Teams calls and things like that on it for a sort of one-off, maybe. But I'll let you lovely people decide that. Drop below whether you think you'd use this device for work stuff. I'd be really interested to find out, as ever, Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you lovely people next week. Behave yourself. My arm doesn't, I don't know. Why have I done that? Okay, bye-bye.